Hello everyone, boys and girls, we meet again. It's me, Teacher Y. In this lesson, you will learn how and when to use possessive nouns with a prosophis S. Are you ready? Good, let us start. Okay, let's go to the introductions. The prosophis S has three different meanings in English. Let's take a look at these three examples. Maria's beautiful, Maria's prepared, Maria's garden. So, what they have in common? Yes, the word Maria's. They all have a prosophy as at the end of Maria. For example, Maria's beautiful. When an apostrophe is followed by an adjective, the apostrophe s means contractions of is. Example number two, Maria's prepared. When an apostrophe s is followed by past participle, the apostrophe s means contractions of has. And the last example is Maria's garden. When an apostrophe S is followed by now, again, now, it means to show possessions. So we're gonna learn about possessions nouns. You have to understand where do we put the apostrophes. Is it before S or after S? Let us get to know what is the use of an apostrophe S. An apostrophe S is to show that something belongs to someone or something. Okay, we use an apostrophe S if we have singular nouns. So, we just add an apostrophe S. The first example is, We went to Maria's house last night. So, it means the house belongs to Maria. Second example, Is that your friend's car? The word friend's car means the car that belongs to your friends. Next, where is the cat's fish? It means the fish of the cat. Where is it? Lastly, whose house is this? This is Sarah's house. So, this means the house belongs to Sarah. Next, we use an apostrophe if we have plural nouns ending in S. Therefore, we only add the apostrophe because most common plural nouns end up with S. Let's see the examples. These are my brother's books. So the owner of the books wants to say he has two or three brothers own the same books. Then the students' chairs are missing right now. So it means the chairs belongs to students are missing. Example for number three. Unfortunately, the boys' toilet was closed. So the toilet of the boys was closed. Only one toilet is used by many boys. Since brothers, students, and boys are all plural nouns ended with S, so we only add an apostrophe to the end. Now we also use an apostrophe S when we have plural nouns not ending in S. Huh? What are they? For instance, child is singular noun. This refer to one child. The plural of child is children. 
Yes, children is pronounced, but it doesn't end with s. So we can just add an apostrophe s to the end, just like singular nouns. Here are more examples of irregular plural nouns that don't end with s. Man's car, woman's hat, mice tails, people's grammar, sheep's wool, and deer's antlers. Don't be surprised, it's normal. Sometimes English has its special rules that we can't even explain. Now, we look at the examples when we have singular nouns ending in S. The boss's office is big, so the office belongs to the boss. The word boss is singular, so we add an apostrophe S to the end, like other singular nouns. If it's plural, it becomes bosses. Again, you have to write or add an apostrophe to the end. Same as the classes teachers is handsome. It means the teacher of the class. Remember, we only add an apostrophe for plural nouns, not classes. Okay, how about two or more people? Relax, we only need to add an apostrophe S for the final name. For example, John and Jenny's house is old. So it means John and Jenny live in the same house. They own the house together. For second example, John's and jo Jenny's houses are old. Here, we are talking about two people with two different houses. John and Jenny live in different houses. Next, Jess and Jane's stamp collections are valuable. This means Jess and Jane shared the same stamp collections. Next, Jess and Jan's opinions were different. It shows maybe Jess said no while Jane said yes. So their opinions were totally different. Next, Okay, how about names ending in S? You can add whether an apostrophe S or only an apostrophe. For example, Chris's apostrophe S or Chris apostrophe. Both forms are considered correct. Same as Hara's apostrophe S, house is unique or haras apostrophe house is big so don't worry both are correct it's easy right okay next these examples are just for your extra informations let's take a look avoid repetitions when the meaning is clear so when we talk about someone he or she mentions about something that you would understand. Please don't repeat the nouns. For instance, my dress is more beautiful than Lisa's. Full stops. Compared to, my dress is more beautiful than Lisa's dress. The word dress is not necessary to be repeated because people know we are talking about the same dress. Next, that's a beautiful shawl. Is it your sister's? It means 
sister's shawl as is mentioned the same shawl and last but not least whose camera is that that camera is my brother's you don't have to see the that camera is my brother's camera please avoid repetitions so that's all for today i hope everything is clear if you have any questions please ask me see you next time thanks for listening bye